Okay, so that's good. That's good. That's the people I'm keeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, Raw keeps so many people. Could be make or break for the WCW GM. Team Red looking to route out its roster with this pick. An important choice at number five for SmackDown. And it's time for NXT's. Okay, um, I'll take Charlotte. NXT selects Charlotte Flair. The Queen continues her reign on a new night. The brand is taking. God damn, this is going to take so long. NXT preparing their fifth round pick. Um, I'll take Drew. I'll have him do a role change and have him face R Truth. The Scottish warrior returns to the black and gold. A superstar who is finally ready for his breakout moment. Could be a maker. Now I can go cheap. Uh, let's do. I said cheap. Wait, I don't need. I don't need a bruiser. I need a fighter. God damn it. Oh well. Future champion. SmackDown pondering its next pick. Who's up for NXT? Okay, um. Not Bruiser. I need Fighter. Let's get Finn again, I guess. Finn Balor. And NXT is once again Finn's home. He's unhappy to be picked this late. He'll show he's not an afterthought. NXT ready for um, next selection in this draft. Well, I don't need to actually change Drew McIntyre now. I can just have Braun Breaker fight for the NXT title. Uh, so I need a heel bruiser? No, heel fighter. I need another heel fighter. Kira Tozawa. That's good. Buckled down and ready to take off. SmackDown moving on in the draft. The NXT GM weighing their options here. Let's get a couple more women. Um, I'll get Tamina and Caden Carter. Roster. Lots of potential in this woman. I like this pick. A lot of ways NXT, NXT can go draft. here. Let's see Kaden what they Carter. pick. And the GM picks up an amazing... Well, WCW's Kaden done. Carter. She's hungry for opportunity, and she just got it. The GM is Raw's done. Draft. Some big names picked. And here is a new roster. SmackDown's Monday, choosing someone else. Um, let me get Nikita Lyons and Leah. And Nikita Lyons is ready to roar on a new night. She has all the tools to be. And I need more uh, more men now. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, well let's get. Butch and Drew Gulak. Butch. And his GM pulled the wild card with Butch. A main event talent just waiting to break out. I... Gonna get Reggie. Reggie. And Veer Mahan. That's it, that's it. The GM's pick. It's Reggie. He's looking to make his mark on this brand. Here's the hungry talent looking to break out on Okay, I have Here's the lineups after the draft. Four more than everyone else basically. But like I should have gotten the last season the last Hall of Fame trophy. Is it not for getting Finished three seasons ranked in first place. Yes, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then three seasons of season. Let it just hasn't given me the season four the trophy. What the fuck? Well, Drew Gulak wants to wrestle. Clearly, um, I had him for Butch. 
they can fight, she can fight Charlotte for the title. Uh, our truth versus. Uh, Braun Breaker for the title, and then Cena versus Finn for the title. Then I'm going to have it like that. Um, let's give me some money. Drew. Uh, Caden, right? Yeah, Caden. Makita. Um. Yep, that's gonna... Hopefully... It'll actually give me the trophy and win me it after this. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna pause the record... Or stop the recording and then come back to it later. So you have Becky vs. Charlotte. NXT Women's Championship. Becky win. Becky retains her title. They get a rivalry. Drew gets me 14k. Loses three popularity. We got Drew and Butch. Drew wins. They get a rivalry. Caden gives me 5k. We got Cena versus Balor. Cena gets his NXT North American title back. Nikita. Gets 6k and loses 4 popularity. Then we have R Truth versus Braun Breaker. And R Truth retains his title. SmackDown, we have MVP versus KO for the Universal title in an Iron Man match with Cedric Alexander running in on KO, which is why uh, KO lost. Cedric Alexander and Owens have a rivalry. Ilya Dragunov does a self promo for one popularity. Oh, damn. WCW let Ilya Dragunov go. I just realized that. Uh, Robert Reed versus Braun Strowman. A last man standing match. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Braun Strowman wins. We have Nikki A.S.H. versus Anatalia versus Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler. For the women's tag titles for SmackDown. And then Rhea and Shayna are the tag champions. We have Damian Priest versus Brock Lesnar in an Iron Man match for the IC title. And Damian Priest wins. They have a rivalry. We have Bianca versus Carmella for the Raw Women's Championship. Bianca retains. They have a rivalry. Mase gets self promo. Or loses two popularity in self promo. Uh, GG versus Liv. GG wins. They get a rivalry. Commander Z's calls out Ma uh, Mansoor. We have Randy Orton and Johnny Gargano versus Seth Freaking Rollins and Sheamus. And Johnny Gargano and Randy Orton win. They get a level two rivalry. And sort of self promo for nothing. Then we have Ivar vs. Angel for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Angel is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Then we got WCW, Zeke vs. Logan Paul for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Logan Paul is the WCW World Heavyweight Champion. And they have a level 2 rivalry because it was inside a steel cage. Bailey calls out Zoe Stark for uh, nothing. Dexter Lewis and Julius Creed are in a match. They get a rivalry. We have Cody Rhodes and Matt Riddle versus T Bar and The Miz. And T Bar and The Miz win. We have Cora Jade and Ollie Brawler and Zoe Stark in a Hell in a Cell Triple Threat title match for the Women's Championship. And Ollie Brawler retains. Uh, no injuries. So I think I'm good to just move on. Ron Breaker got himself disqualified. 
I got 270k. Shane and Rhea are an incredible tag team. That is the only show notes. So I got a coast to coast. It's just not going to give me my 10th trophy? Are you fucking kidding me? It's just not going to give me my Hall of Fame trophy. You're, you've got to be kidding me. Book 25 three-star matches. 10 tag matches. 5 false count anywhere. 10 fatal 4 matches. Resolve 3 rivalries during a PLE. Promote 2 free agents to superstars. Book 8 tables matches. And book 8 shows with an advertisement promo. Oh, that's just eight matches, not eight shows of matches. Same with these. Okay. I can combine a lot of these, so. Yeah, um. Yeah. Okay, well. It is like. A week later and I thought I'd have this up or be back for this but anyway time to start doing some matches let's do Becky and Charlotte in a tables match for the title let's do Cena and Balor in a tables match eh, also for the title <laughs> we do truth versus Braun Breaker you know, let's just let's make it a tables match, and of course it'll be for the title. And then let's do a tag team match. Let's do uh, Reggie and Drew versus Veer and Akira Tozawa. Let's just make it a tables match, and also for the titles. What was I need? I need advertising. Let's have the key to do the advertising. Let's do a call out. Let's do another call out. See if I can get them up. And then yeah, I have. I already did the the stuff. Um, it does say. Promote two free agents to superstar status. I don't know if that's just signing them. Like if it's signing permanent wrestlers. Or what? Let's just see. That's not work, so. It's got to be using the superstar training cards. So let's get Timber and Tamara Ty Cross. Hopefully I can get Superstar Train cards. And let's just use Cactus Jack and SmackDown this week. Yeah, that's four of the eight tables matches I need. Hopefully that'll be some, at least some of these being three-star matches. Uh, that's one tag team match. Yep. And that's going to be one more show with an advertisement promo. So. Let's get to the show. We got Charlotte and Becky for the women's title. Becky retains. Good. We got a more than a greater than three star match. The alliance gives him 6k and loses 3 popularity. Okay, we got the tag team tables match. Veer and Akira are the champs, and it is a 3 star match. Whoever goes level 2. Truth and Breaker. Breaker is the new NXT champion, and it's more than 3 stars. And the rivalry goes level 3. Hell yeah. And then we have Cena and Balor in a tables match for the NXT North American title. And Cena retains. 
And it's four and a half stars. Hell yeah. Okay, we have Nikki Ohm's superhero Natalia versus Shayna Baszler and Rhea Ripley in a tornado tag match. Not for the not for the tag titles though. Natalia Nikki ASH win. Oh, and that did two levels. Uh, Jake the Snake gets 6750 fans for SmackDown. Kevin Owens and Robert Roode with Braun Strowman running in on Roode. Oh, wow. Kevin Owens wins. What a shocker. And Strowman and Roode have a rivalry. And then we have Ilya Dragunov and Bruno Sammartino versus MVP and Cedric Alexander for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Why are they double booking champions like this? And of course they win. So MVP is a double champ. We have Lesnar and Damian Priest in a backstage brawl with Lesnar already having 29 stamina. Lesnar wins, they get a rivalry to level 2, but like he cannot have much stamina left. Okay, we got Raw Tag Team Champions, Commander Aziz and Johnny Gargano, facing off against Mansoor and Angel, who, once more, they're double booking their main champion. But this time, their main champion is not a double champion. Uh, Gigi Dolan calls out Liv Morgan for level 2. We have the Hurricane versus Mase with Ivar raining on Mase. And Mase wins. And uh, him and Ivar get a rivalry. We have a trip threat between Bianca Belair, Carmella, and Liv Morgan. One, two, it's Liv Morgan wins. And then we have Sheamus and Randy Orton in an Iron Man match for the U.S. Championship. Randy Orton wins. They get a rivalry to level one. We got WCW with Zoe Stark and Bailey opening the show. Zoe Stark wins. We have Julius Creed versus Ezekiel. Julius Creed wins. We have a triple threat match between Dexter Loomis, The Miz, and Hulk Hogan. No stipulations, just row a triple threat match. And Dexter Loomis is the winner. Then we have Brie Bella versus Ali Brawler in a backstage brawl. Ali Brawler wins. And they get a rivalry. You know, all I did were tables matches. But I still had the best fucking show. Hell yeah. Got 32k fans. Oh, that said Nikki A.S.H. and I don't remember who her tag team part. I guess I can go back to it. And Italia are an incredible tag team. Damn, WCW did the worst. And I have a commanding 379,000 fan lead. You'd have done the same in my position. <laughs> hey, I'm it's not my fault you're a fucking loser. Let's do a fatal four way match. Let's just make it a I don't know, a tables match. Nah. <laughs> it's not gonna be a table. Or it probably is gonna be a tables match, but it's not gonna have the people I was it was looking like I was going to have in it. Um, I'm going to throw Tim Burr in it. I don't want him to still be in it later. Because I want a face fighter. Face fighter, face fighter. Heath Manhattan. Yeah. And I said I was going to have him in September. Then I'm going to have my champs rest, except for my tag champs. My tag champs can go again because they still have really high stamina.
then I can just throw a random match together and like this and. Maybe I can have a women's match. I think I did need a a or a heal. Ideally a heal giant, but I'll take Carolina Reaper. And let's just make it a tables match. So we got Carolina Reaper and Tamina versus Caden Carter and Tamara Ty Cross. Uh, I guess I can make this one a tables match as well. Okay, that'll, that'll clear one goal. Now I just need to get a, an advertising promo and then most of these to be three stars. Uh, that gives me three out of ten for that. Finishes that. That would give me three out of eight for that. And then I just need false count anywhere matches. Let's do uh, Breaker getting advertising. Nah, let's just do self promos for people who need them. Hopefully that works. Damn. Oh, do I need two? I need two. And I only have one. Mm -hmm. I can do Charlotte doing something. Just get the boost. Charity booking's fine. As long as I have one advertising. So we have the defending NXT Tag Team Champions, Kira Zhao and Veer Mahan, facing off against Drew McIntyre and Reggie. And Drew McIntyre and Reggie are the new NXT Tag Team Champions. And the rivalry goes level 3. We have Braun Breaker doing advertising promo for 19k and losing 2 popularity in the process. We have Nikita Lyons and Aaliyah going on head to head in a tables match. One, two, ring that bell. And Aaliyah is victorious. And they get a rivalry. We have Pretty Ruthless doing a self promo for nothing. We have Tamina and Carolina Reaper facing off against Caden Carter and Tamara Tycross in a tables match for the vacant women's NXT Tag Team Championship. And Tamina and Carolina Reaper are victorious and the new champions. Charlotte Flair does a charity promo for 7,500 fans. And then we have a Fatal 4-Way Tables match for the main event. Butch versus Drew Gulak versus Bruce Creed versus Heath Manhattan. And the winner is Drew Gulak. And at least I get one or two three-star matches and in the process there, we got KO versus Damian Priest in a tables match to open the show for the Intercontinental title. And Damian Priest retains his title. We have Robert Roode calling out Braun Strowman for a level 2 rivalry. We have Ilya Dragunov and Bruno San Martino versus Cedric Alexander and MVP in a tables match. And Bruno San Martino and Ilya Dragunov win. And Ilya Dragunov is injured for three weeks. We have Braun Strowman doing a self promo for nothing. We have Ultimate Warrior versus Jake Snake Roberts in a backstage brawl. One, two, that's it. it's over. And Jake Snake Roberts wins. And then we have an Extreme Rules tag team match between the champions, Rhea Ripley and Shayna Baszler. And Natalia and Nikki almost superhero. Not not for not for the titles though. God, not for the titles. Natalia and Nikki ASH win. And Rhea Ripley is injured for five weeks. We have Angel and Seth Brick and Rollins facing off against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Johnny Gargano and Commander Aziz, with the Hurricane 
running in on the, ta the team of Angel and Seth Green Rollins. One, two, it's over. The bell. And wouldn't you know it, the champs win, and Hurricane ran in on Angel and they have a rivalry. Liv Morgan calls out Gigi for level 3 rivalry. We have Masse versus Ivar in the last man standing match. And Ivar comes out victorious. They have a level 2 rivalry now. We got Mansoor doing a self promo for nothing. We have Sheamus facing off against uh, Randy Orton. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. Just end statement. Randy Orton wins. They get a level 2 rivalry. We have Karen Compactor. Doing a charity promo for 2250 fans. And we have Bianca Belair versus Carmella in an Iron Woman match for the main event. And Bianca is victorious. They get a level 2 rivalry out of that. We got Cody Rhodes and Matt Riddle facing off against The Miz and T-Bar. In a title table tables match for the ta WCW Tag Team Championship. A lot of teas there. And Cody Rhodes and Riddle are champions. Hulk Hogan gets four popularity in a self promo. Corey Jade and Zoe Stark versus Bailey and Allie Brawler. Zoe Stark is very low on stamina. She does get the win, though. We got Dominic Mysterio doing a self promo. Five popularity. Damn. We have Ezekiel versus Logan Paul for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And Ezekiel is the new champion. And we have Julius Creed and Dexter Loomis facing off inside Hell in a Cell. Dexter Loomis is victorious. And their rivalry goes level 2. Well, my show kind of sucked compared to the SmackDowns. But also, SmackDown had two injuries. So yeah. Hey, Aaliyah is a natural at tables matches. Don't really get why NXT wants to push Charlotte Flair. Also, I always see quote unquote phenomenal show. But most of the time, they don't even have fucking AJ Styles. That's just a little nitpick. Get the tables. Seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got other plans for you guys. Don't book my most popular cruiser. Who's my most popular cruiser? Is it Reggie? It's Reggie. Okay, um... I think it's Last Man Standing matches that it wants me to have. So I can't have that. Uh, Butch and Drew Gulak. Uh, Heath Manahan and Brutus Creed. Yes, that's who it was. Uh, because Creed wants a rematch against Drew Gulak. So I gotta do the same match to try to raise rivalry level for Gulak and Butch, at least. I can do these two for the title. I can do these two for the title, and I can do these two for the title. Uh, let's do tag team, actually. Let's 
get just get all my stuff set up. Yeah, she can do advertising for me. She has five promo skill. There we go. But yeah, I'm not going to get that bonus because it wants special match types. And I don't want that many special match types. Okay, so I got tables. I need more three-star matches. I need more tag team matches. I need eight more fatal four ways. Resolve three rivalries during a PLE. That one's easy to get. That one's just a give me. That's just, that one's just a gimme. Uh, this one's a gimme. So that's three. That one's probably a gimme. It just might take a while. Same with this one. I mean, I'm already, what, a third of the way through this one? So I got, what, eight three-star matches already? That's not bad. Yeah, I just need a few more. I'll buy these health spot cards. And I guess the contract negotiation. Kind of sucks that I can't use... Uh... Oh, I can actually use unlimited amounts of them. Interesting. That does give me some ideas. Yes, that does give me some ideas. I'm just looking here to see who they have. See if I can get a couple people for next time. Damn. Yeah. Let's just see how this match this match card does. We got Becky and Charlotte for the NXT Women's Championship. And Charlotte is your new champion. We have Braun Breaker calling out our truth for level 2 rivalry. We have Cena and Finn Balor first for the NXT North American title. And Cena retains again. We have Truth calling out Breaker for level 3 rivalry. Then we have Tag Team Champions Drew McIntyre and Reggie defending their championship against the former champions Veer Mahan and Akira Shizawa. And the champs retain. They get a level 4 rivalry. Carolina Reaper does an advertising promo for 12k, losing 3 popularity in the process. We have Drew Gulak and Butch and Heath Manhattan. And Brutus Creed, all in a four fatal four way match, One, all in a foursome, and Heath Manhattan comes out victorious this time. Wow! And Gulak and Butch get a little four rivalry. We have Strowman and Rude in an Iron Man match with KO running out on Rude, One, two. That's it. Ring the bell. and Strowman wins. Wouldn't you know it? We have Bruner San Martino calling out Jake Snake Roberts for level 1 rivalry. We have Trixie Gambit versus Nikki A.S.H. Nikki A.S.H. wins. We have Shannon Baszler doing a charity promo for 7,500 fans. Damn. We have Brock Lesnar and Damian Priest and Cedric Alexander in a triple threat match. Brock wins. Getting a level 4 rivalry with Damian Priest. We have Jake Zink Roberts doing a self promo for popularity. And then we have a tables match for MVP's Universal title. Facing off against Ultimate Warrior. And Ultimate Warrior is the new Universal Champion. And he gets injured for three weeks. So, we got Sheamus and Randy Orton facing off. Randy Orton remains victorious. There ever goes level 3. We have Seth Rollins doing a charity promo for 6k fans. We have Commander Aziz facing off against Mansoor. And Commander Aziz wins. They get a rivalry. We have the Hurricane doing a charity promo for 5250 fans. 
We have Ivar and Masse in an Iron Man match. Ivar wins. They have level 3 rivalry. Angel calls out the Hurricane for level 2 rivalry. Then we have a Fatal 4-Way Tables match for the Raw Women's Championship. Gigi Dolan and Liv Morgan and Karen Kabakter and Bianca Belair all in this match together. And Bianca retains her title. No rivalry updates. We have Julius Creed, Dexter Loomis, and Cody Rhodes in a triple threat tables match. One, two, that's it. It. And Julius Creed wins. And his rivalry with Dexter Loomis grows level three. So he starts calls out Bailey for nothing. We have The Miz, Hulk Hogan, facing off. And the Miz wins. We have Ali Brawler doing a self promo for two popularity. We have T Bar facing off against Matt Riddle. Just end statement. Uh, we have Brie Bella doing a self promo for two popularity, and then we have Logan Paul facing off against Ezekiel in an Iron Man match for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And Logan Paul is the new champion. They have level four rivalry. And I got four more three-star plus matches. And two level three, uh, level four rivalries. And two level three rivalries. And uh, my fans did not go well to this week. Oh well, it's not an important week. I didn't see anything good there. I know SmackDown had that one uh, injury. Oh, cool. My most popular star can't wrestle. Becky Lynch. Why is it always fucking Becky Lynch? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kita wants to be in uh, this uh, premium live event. H wants me to have a fucking triple, uh, LSL match. Fuck him. Tables is a special match type, so I can do tables matches. Uh, I can do some tables matches, I guess. Like for the titles. There it is. That's going to be this match, though. Drew Gulak versus Butch. That's going to be false count anywhere, because I think that's what I need, right? Yes. I just need five of those. Let's do these two. They can also be in a false count anywhere match. Then I guess I can throw these two in a false count anywhere match as well. So that's what three of the five I need. To advertising for Charlotte. Charity for Heath Manhattan. Damn. Some good promo skill. This is probably going to be one of my weakest, uh, this is going to be one of my weakest, uh, PLEs. Oh shit. New stadium. And new advertising. Oh damn. Oh damn. That's too expensive. Free advertising. Shit, I didn't look how much that cost. Oh, I can't, I, fuck, I forgot. I can only release one superstar a week. Um. 
bit. Why does that cost 250,000? Jesus. Oh, wow, that has double capacity. That's why. Okay. I was going to keep these all charity, but uh, I think I need some advertising. Let's give me some money. Okay, we have John Cena and Finn Balor in a False Count Anywhere match. And Finn breaks his losing streak to complete the rivalry. We have Charlotte doing an advertising promo for 22000 No popularity loss. We have Butch and Drew Gulak doing a False Count Anywhere match. And Drew Gulak wins. And that ends the rivalry. We got Heath Manhattan doing an advertising promo of 15k, losing three popularity in the process. We have Tails match for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Kira Dezawa and Veer Mahan, Mahan trying to dethrone Drew McIntyre and Reggie. Let's get it. Come on. Okay, just keep just keep skipping. Skip to the actual show. Okay, and here we go. And the people who should actually be in rivalries with each other are the ones who are facing off. Drew McIntyre already has Akira Tozawa in a submission hold. Less than 30 seconds in the match. And Akira Tozawa is taking out Reggie now. Drew stomps on Veer's thigh. We're leveling him with a big right hand. Veer's going to bring in a table. You know what they say. Whoever sets up a table is the one who goes through it. Drew McIntyre does a second side slam on Kirizawa. Reggie sends Veer to the ropes and does nothing for that. Looks like Reggie's going to get a table as well. Nope. Not going to get a table. Just going to the outside of the ring. Drew grabs the steel steps. Tozawa kicks Reggie in the face. And looks like Drew used the steel steps on Veer. Oh, wow. Veer jumps at Reggie to knock down the table so that uh, his partner cannot go through it. I just want to point out, I'm not controlling Reggie or anything. Because it definitely looks like that was player controlled, but I'm not controlling him. This is all AI. Also, if I were playing it, that would be Drew McIntyre. Oh, Zawa grabs the table. Slams in Reggie's face. Now there are two tables inside the ring. Neither of them... Oh, I was about to say neither of them set up. But, well, Reggie stops Kira Tozawa from setting up the table. And Tozawa sends Reggie into the corner. Well, Tozawa goes and grabs the steel steps. Is waiting for Veer to set him up to hit Drew McIntyre. Or not. Reggie sets up the table. Oh, Tozawa has Reggie. 
right where he wants them. You know, on the ground, not through a table. Beer goes to throw Reggie over the top rope, and then throws him back into the ring. Reggie is stunned. Beer is beating him against the table, but Drew McIntyre breaks it up. Veer rolls out. Tazawa rolls out. Drew and Reggie still in the ring. The table does go down. Reggie knocks the other table out before going to bring it back into the ring. Damn, Reggie. Just using the table to knock down both Tazawa and Veer. Damn. Beer with the big drop to Drew McIntyre. Tazawa puts up a table. Beer also sets up a table. Veer enters the ring against uh, Drew. Drew sends Beer to the corner. But not the one that has the table set up the now. Drew picks up Veer. Zawa picks up uh, Reggie. Veer is stunned. Tazawa is going to looking to put Reggie through the court the table. Never mind, goes to throw Reggie over. He's got him in the crosshairs. He returns to the ring. And he's pulled the ring in now. Veer re-enters the ring. Tazawa still on the outside. Gets a third table out. Reggie jumps off the apron. Drew drags Veer to the table. And looks like he's about to powerbomb him through. And he does. Drew McIntyre and Reggie retain their titles. Four star match. Not bad, not bad. We have Carolina Reaper doing an advertising promo for 12k and losing two popularity in the process. We have Nikita Lyons and Aaliyah doing a Falls Count Anywhere match. And Nikita Lyons is victorious. Their every grows. We have Kane Carter doing an advertising promo for 5k, losing three popularity in the process. Then we have Braun Breaker and R-Truth in a tables match for the NXT World Heavyweight Championship. And R-Truth gets his title back. But a false count anywhere match between Jake the Snake Roberts and Bruno San Martino. And Jake wins. Trixie Gammon does a charity promo for 6750 fans. We have a tag team match between Shannon Baszler and Maya T. Kirk. Facing off against the tag team, Nikki A.S.H. and Natalia. Stacey Keebler ran in on. One of the bad guys. One, two, ring it. Sissy Keebler ran on Shannon Baszler. They get a rivalry. MVP calls out Ultimate Warrior for nothing. Damian Priest facing off against Brock Lesnar and Adrian Buck in triple threat match. No stipulations. Brock wins. Again. Their rivalry is complete. We have Cedric Alexander facing off against Kevin Owens in an Ironman match. One, two, that's three. The Cedric Alexander wins. Their rivalry goes to level three. We have Rob Roode versus Braun Strowman in an Ironman match One, for the main event. Rob Roode wins. Their rivalry is complete. We have John Gargano and Commander Aziz facing off against Seth Rollins, Sheamus. For the Raw Tag Team Championship. And we have new Raw Tag Team Champions, Sheamus and Seth Rollins. Randy Orton and Ivar facing off against Mossay and Angel. 
And my Saiyan Angel win. We have Gigi Dolan and Liv Morgan facing off uh, with Karen Compactor in a threat match. I don't know why I said it like that, but Gigi wins. Their robbery is complete. We have Mansoor facing off against the Hurricane in a backstage brawl. One, That's it. Bring it. Hurricane wins. And then we have Bianca Belair and Carmella facing off in an Iron Woman match. Not for the title or anything, just facing off in an Iron Woman, an Iron Woman match. And Bianca is injured for three weeks. They love three rivalry though. We have Julius Creed, next to Loomis, facing off. One, two, that's it. It's Dead statement. The Julius Creed wins, the rivalry is complete. We have Cody Rhodes doing a self promo. Gets three popularity. We have Raquel Rodriguez and Quinn B. One, two, it's over. Raquel wins. They get a level one rivalry. Hulk Hogan does a self promo for five popularity. We have Brie Bell and Cora Jade facing off against Bailey and Allie Brawler for the WCW Women's Tag Team Championship. And the champs retain. They get a rivalry. So he start calls out Bailey for nothing. T Bar and Do facing off against Dominic Mysterio and Damn. T-Bar wins. Damn. Him and Dom get a rivalry. Miz is a self promo for five popularity. Then we have Logan Paul versus Ezekiel in a TLC match. One, two, that's three. Bell. Logan Paul wins. Their rivalry is complete, and Ezekiel, even though he just did a TLC match, which has a high stamina cost, does not get injured. When he has zero stamina. Just wanted to point that out. Uh, looks like my show is the best by a lot. All my. I get five points towards the three plus star matches. And I completed four rivalries. So that's a good progress on my season goals. I get 160k fans, my least fans in a long time. Uh, Jake Roberts is such a national at Falls Count Anywhere matches. Wow. Raw gets less than 100,000 fans. I get Injury Rehab 3 for completing the season challenge. For doing the Resolve 3 robberies. Uh, I get some good money back. And, oh my god, my Legends of Free Agents cost 20k more. I mean, 6k is nothing. I was barely trying. Good luck keeping up, though. I'm the best. It's that simple. Kurt. Maybe you should just be better. Yep, you're welcome, Nikita. You literally just won the title. Whatever. Ooh, that's not bad. Just get two power cards, though. Ooh. Oh. Anyway. Let's see. I need, what is that, six matches to get three stars. Five more tag team matches. Two more false count anywhere matches. And that would be enough. Three more shows in the advertising promo. I can get this done so fast. I can get one of them done this week, but 
but I'll have to wait for next time. See ya.